Well, it's made it through the night, but it's still very weak. And we also have these times where it suddenly wipes out and can't even stand. Can you stand up? Oh, here we go. That's not perfect, but that's better. We made it through the night there, so we'll push on. Oh, you can sit in the camera. Please don't poo in there. You ready for your closer? I'm still not going to go, are you? It also always seems to fall to this side, which worries me slightly. Oh, you're making it difficult for me. I like to do. You can fly. Yes, you can. You just need to eat. And that's not the force feed eat, that's actually eat. Very good at chirping. Yes. 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 There's these wonderful moments full of energy, flying, chirping, then it just bombs. I've reared baby sparrows before, and they do have a lull after feeding, but this feels different, strange, and just not right. I've had it for 24 hours now. Much stronger, but still not gaping. So yeah, unfortunately, we still have to force feed. It's difficult having to force feed a sparrow because their beaks are so, so small. With a thrush or a starling, just open their mouth, pretty much push it in with your finger. These guys, not so easy. But you don't seem bothered by it, it's just a... It resists a little, but... It's just a fiddle. Now that was the best attempt we've had so far. What is it? No, not my finger. What's that? What's that? Oh, it tried. It tried to take the food. Had a little peck. You showed a bit of interest, didn't you? Unfortunately, flying onto my head seems to be far more interesting. It's progress. Just not quite as much progress as I'd like. I'm getting a couple of random gapes, which is good. Yes! Finally! Finally! You took food without force feeding. Yes. Yes, yeah. you just fed yourself. That's, that is progress. Oh, sleepy thing. It finally, finally fed itself. Just a tiny bit. And now it's falling asleep. Oh, a little sleepy thing.